Well, he is tied to one of the most gruesome murders in our state history. Fabian Gonzalez is in jail, despite a judge saying he should be released last week. Action 7 News reporter Justin Matthews shows us why there is a delay. The court is figuring out where Fabian Gonzalez is going to live while he awaits his trial. Attorneys are hitting roadblocks because Gonzalez is unable to live with some of his family members. Court documents spelling out the conditions of Fabian Gonzalez's release say if there are no suitable housing arrangements, the court will schedule another hearing to discuss housing. I checked in with KOAT legal expert John Day about what this means for Fabian while the courts try to figure out where he's going to go once he's released. Until they can find some place that would be appropriate and safe for everybody involved, for Fabian Gonzalez, he's not going anywhere. He's going to stay in custody. Judge Brown said Gonzalez cannot stay with family members. Prosecutors said his brothers have legal troubles of their own and are witnesses in this case. They also said Gonzalez cannot go home with his mother to South Carolina because he has gotten into legal trouble there as well. You know, it's going to be up to the judge to decide, does he actually get to leave the state, go somewhere else with, you know, with appropriate monitoring, with appropriate check-in? Um, I'd be surprised if the judge let him leave New Mexico while this is pending. If the pretrial service office is unable to find a safe place for Gonzalez to live, they'll go back to the judge to see what the next steps are for his release. John Day says there's no timeline or deadline for pretrial services to find housing. Gonzalez will stay in jail while they continue the search or if the judge sets new conditions for his release. Justin Matthews, KOAT, Action 7 News. Judge Brown ruled Fabian Gonzalez will also not have to wear a GPS monitor when he is released.